Hey, it's Mike from Arnold Tutoring here. We're going to talk about uh, what it means for events to be mutually exclusive as well as independent or dependent and how we figure that out. So we're given the probability of event A happening, the probability of event B happening, and the probability of event A union B, which I like to think of as that meaning A or B happening. Uh, so as soon as I see that, I'm going to start with the formula that always holds, and that is A union B, the probability, equals the probability of A plus the probability of B happening, minus the probability of A and B, or A intersection B happening. And the reason for that is because when we, when we include the probability of A, we're including A and B happening. When we include just the probability of B, we're also including A and B happening. So we have to minus it out once um, to be able to get the probability of A or B happening, because we, A or B really means A or B or both. So that's why that formula works. So let's plug in what we know. Uh, we know we are given that this is 0 0.9. We're given the probability of A is 0 0.8. And we're given the probability of B is 0 0.4. We don't know the intersection, but clearly now we know everything else, so we can solve for it. So I'm going to add it to this side. I get the probability of A intersection B. And I think of that intersection as A and B. And a good way to remember that is you can put a little line through the intersection that looks like a capital A like AND. So the probability of A and B happening is we get 0 0.8 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.9. And we get 1.2 minus 0.9 is 0 0.3. So that's the probability of A and B happening. Now let's look at our questions. Uh, the question says, are A and B mutually exclusive events? What does that mean? Mutually exclusive means A and B cannot happen together. If we had a Venn diagram, it would look like this. This is event A, and this is event B. They do not intersect, so there's no point where they can both happen. From a math standpoint, we can think that that means the intersection equals zero if mutually exclusive. Since it's not 0, it's 0 0.3, we know that A and B are not mutually exclusive. In other words, A and B can happen together with a probability of 0 0.3. So that's part A. Part B now says, are A and B independent events? Independent means that the probability of B happening is not impacted by the fact that A did or did not happen. So the probabilities are not impacted by each other. What's the rule for that? Well, if the probabilities are not impacted, if they're independent, if they're independent, then the probability of A and B happening is just the probability of A times the probability of B, because there's no adjustment to be made given that A did or did not happen. You can just straight multiply the values together. So all we check here is, is this true? Well, we know the intersection is 0 0.3, and we know the individual probabilities. So probability of A was given to us as 0 0.8. Probability of B was given to us as 0 0.4. So we check, are these equal? I'll put a question mark above. And clearly, they are not. 0 0.3 is not equal to 0 0.8 times 0 0.4, which is 0 0.32. So these events, A and B, are not independent either. So we can see that mutually exclusive and independence are really not at all related. They're related in the sense that we look at one statistic, the probability of A intersection B, to test whether they're mutually exclusive or independent, but because one is mutually exclusive doesn't mean it's not independent and vice versa. So this is a typical type question. It's using the one main formula to start. We back out the intersection from that and then test for mutually uh, exclusive and independence. Thanks.